Talia, we're finally here. You're gonna love this house. It's perfect for you. Well, I really like the house and the color, especially the red door. Let's go inside and I'll show you all the details. I'm so excited to buy my first home. I know, being a first time home buyer can be a little scary, but don't worry, I got you covered. Let's check it out. The doorbell works, that's a plus. I can't wait to see it inside. And when you first walk in, you see the kitchen. It's a bit small, but I think it'll be perfect for you. I also staged it up a little bit so my clients can have some ideas on how they can use their space. I like that it has a washer and dryer, but it's a bit small for me. I like to have a lot of people over. I don't know how many friends I can fit here. Oh, sweetheart, for the price point and the location, I don't think you'll find anything bigger than this. Well, the fridge looks new, and so does the oven. Yeah, they're all new, also the washer and dryer. Oh, I have plenty of space for all of my clothes. Um, does it come with a coffee maker? Um, no, that's my coffee maker, but I can definitely give it to you if you want to buy this house. Oh, wonderful. Here is a bathroom, you have a shower, sink, toilet. Alright, it looks nice. This is your open plan living space. This can be your bedroom, a sitting area. I kind of decorated a little bit. And also that window gives amazing lighting for selfies. Oh, I love this space. And that's very important. You know how much I love my selfies. So what do you think? You want to get this house? Yes, I want to buy it. Well, that was easy. Well, when I get to my office, I'll send you all the paperwork so you can sign and fax it over. Wonderful, I'm so excited. Congratulations. And if you're planning on throwing a welcoming party, don't forget to invite your favorite realtor. Thank you so much, Bobby. You made this process really, really easy. You're welcome, that's my job. What should I do first? Should I watch some TV? Sit on the couch? Oh, the possibilities are endless now that I live by myself and... Let's start by laying down and relaxing. <coughs> Who said that? <coughs> Stay back, you fuzzy creature. I'm allergic to cats. I didn't know you came with the house. Oh, no, no, no. Stay there. Barbie! Achoo! Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you one of the coolest foldable Barbie houses from 2005. It's the totally real foldable house. And I got this one off eBay. And I've been looking for this house for quite some time. I don't have the original box, but I just love how realistic everything looks. Starting off by the outside of the house, how it has like bricks and it has a red door. And it's not like all pink like usually all the Barbie houses are. It has a real window and I think it's super special and it also has a lot of fun sounds. So I wanted to show you guys exactly what it came with. Really excited to use it in my doll shows just because it's much easier than, you know, setting up the Hello Dream house. So let's go ahead and see what it came with. This is how it looks on the outside and we're just going to open it here. And then we have like a full open floor plan. We have a little separation between the bathroom and the kitchen. I love this white door here that you can actually open it up and it divides the living room with the bathroom. And I have two bags of accessories. I'm not sure if I have every single accessory that it came with, but that's what the seller included and they're still sealed. So let's see what kind of miniatures we have for this house. It was really hard to find this house in like a new condition inside a box. This is the best that I could find, but I'm really excited. And I really miss how old Barbie toys came with so much furniture and accessories. I want to start showing you some of the sounds starting from the front door. Here we have a real working doorbell. In the outside of the house, we can put this little flower pot holder and it came with some flowers. And I think I'm going to add some artificial flowers here just to give it more touch. But for the video, that's what it came with. This little wall here is part of the bathroom, but you can just open it up to give some separation. And I really like that because it extends the kitchen out a little bit, just like that. And the kitchen is really nice. It also has a little window. You get a fridge. You get a oven. You also get a really nice washer and dryer and it's pretty big. 
so we can fit a lot of clothes in here. And it actually spins if we click down over here, I think where the detergent is, yeah, right there. And your clothes will spin. I think that's an awesome value. And we get a white table for the kitchen with some pots, pans, and silverware. We get some orange chairs that really match the washer and dryer. We have a little pie here, some plates, some cups, salt and pepper. You can also hang some utensils up here in the kitchen, like your pots, some spatulas, and now let's go ahead and take a look at the bathroom. We have this door here, so Barbie can close the door for some privacy. We have a sink. We also get a shower. If we press over here, we can hear the sound. We have a little toilet here, and we can hang up towels right up there. And we also have another window here. We can also flush the toilet. It even comes with a little toilet paper roll. <laughs> and we get a shower curtain. We get some accessories like hair dryer, brush, a little towel, a garbage can. And here is basically the living space. You can have a bedroom, the window open so the dog can get some fresh air. And I think it was supposed to come with curtains, but the seller didn't include them. So I'll probably make my own later on. And the house came with this green couch. And we also have like an ottoman and you can put it together to make a bed. Came with a little comforter or a blanket. Really cute. And a little pillow. Get a little side table. And I love that it looks like real wood. And I wanted to add my own modern touches, so I found this accessory set of furniture at Walmart from Barbie. And it has a TV stand, a little chair, and it looks super modern. I think the house will look much better with this new furniture. And we get this little chair. It's like blue. We can put it on the side here. We get a little TV console and a flat screen TV with one of the Barbie movies. We get some popcorn, a water bottle, a little ottoman for your feet or something, and a really cute blanket. We can put right over the couch for a cozy place. And I added one of the Barbie house couches to kind of just extend the seating area in case we want to have more dolls in a doll story. And it comes with this adorable little kitty cat. A fun fact about me is that I am super allergic to cats. I think they're so cute, but I can't be in the same room as them or I'll be sneezing for hours. Because he's a fake kitty, he can hang out with us right here. Whoop, sorry. Added some assorted pillows, some I made, some are from different play sets. And I think it came out pretty cute. Now I wanna convert this into a bedroom. So I'm gonna remove all the furniture. I'm using the bed that I use for my ladybug marionette tutorial and I'm just gonna change the bedding to this one add the TV and maybe a carpet or a rug underneath the bed Voila. that looks much better and some accessories for the nightstand or the side table you can't forget a cell phone and some candy why not <laughs> and I think adding little miniatures like nail polishes really gives a nice touch and that's how the bedroom would look like. Kind of simple, but adorable. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I think this house is super cute. And I'm really glad I found it and I wanted to share it with you. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I will be doing a lot more doll stories and doll series using this playset. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. See you guys next time. Bye bye for now.